All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and introduce myself and then get uh, some of these questions answered that you guys are, are popping up. Um, so my name is Miranda Buss. I am the agriculture instructor at Heartland Community College, which is located in Bloomington Normal. Um, we are a fairly new ag program. We actually just started a few years ago, about five years ago. And so uh, we're probably the newest one um, to the community colleges here in Illinois. Uh, before I get talking about Heartland, a little bit about me, um, I, like many of you that are in FFA, I, I grew up on a family farm in Southern Illinois, um, pretty much started my love of agriculture right then and there um, since birth. And I, um, after high school, I wanted to continue on that path of ag, or ag. Um, and so I went to Ren Lake College, earned my associates in applied sciences um, at, in agriculture business down there. And then I transferred to the University of Illinois, majored in crop sciences. Um, and when I was there, I decided to go ahead and go on to graduate school. And so I stayed at U of I for my graduate school experience. Um, and decided quickly that while I thought I wanted to be in ag research, that that was not for me. And that's perfectly fine. You guys are going to learn um, that the first path you take in your educational career path might not be the one you end up in, and that's perfectly fine. Um, so after that, I went and worked for a while out in industry, um, came back, worked in education over at the University of Illinois for about five years. Um, and then some, I decided to change it up a little bit, and I took over teaching um, agriculture at Heartland in August. So I'm pretty new to the Heartland group. Um, but before I get into my questions, it looks like we have some questions already on the board. Um, and so one of them is what motivated me to take my position at Heartland? And um, mainly one, I wanted to get back into teaching agriculture. I was in a role where I was teaching a lot more professional development, resumes, cover letters, interviewing skills, which are all great and you should all uh, learn those skills. But I, want, I missed agriculture, so I wanted to go back to it. And Heartland provided a really unique opportunity. So as I mentioned, Heartland is one of the youngest community colleges in the state of Illinois, and it just started its agriculture classes about five years ago. Um, and so currently all the classes that they offer are transfer oriented to transfer anywhere in the state of Illinois. Um, but there was an opportunity to build a work ready program. So to build an applied associates degree in ag as well as certificates. And so I basically have a blank slate and I get the opportunity to basically completely build their ag program from the ground up. So that's something extremely exciting to me and one of the biggest motivators in um, moving over to Heartland. Another question we had were what are some things Heartland offers that students that they wouldn't find elsewhere? And I think I'm gonna leave that back to we're a brand new program. And so while we have um, a professional ag student or PAS chapter, it's brand new. So our students that are in the program right now get to decide basically where everything in agriculture is headed. So I ask them all the time, what would you guys like to see this club do? What kind of speakers would you like to bring in? Is there certain um, uh, ideas or lessons you guys want to learn? And they actually get the opportunity to work with me and our industry personnel to figure out what kind of classes, degree programs, we're even gonna offer. Um, so while we are getting industry input, I get to ask my students and say, hey, what would you guys like to see in a program? So my current students are actually helping me build what Heartland Community College is going to offer in the future for students. So that's um, something really cool that my students get to do that some of the others don't with an, a nice established program. Other questions. Luke asks, what advice do you have for how to decide which college is best for each person? Um, my first, I mean, I actually took notes on this. I figured this was going to be asked. Um, one, determine what you want to do with your career, or what you think you want to do. It's probably going to change. Um, but the first thing you always want to do is look at all the different schools and see what they're best at. Um, so one school might have a really great ag business program where one might have a really great ag science or crop science program. And I think the best thing to decide where you should go to school is one, figure out what they offer and how that's going to tie into your career. Two, think about how you learn best. Um, so some students are going to thrive and going straight to a four year university. They're going to enjoy those big classes and some aren't. Some need a transition period from high school having really um, 
hands-on teachers to some of your general education college classes, which might be a little more hands-off. I'd say from my experience, um, agriculture at community colleges or even our large four-year universities, um, they tend to have smaller class sizes, but it's really the general education classes, I think, that really make a difference when it comes to um, class sizes. Um, so like at Heartland, you'd be taking general education classes with a maximum class size of 30. And so some students need that more hands-on opportunity versus taking maybe a general education class with a class of 300. I know I took some of those when I was over at the University of Illinois, and um, they didn't feel quite as personalized. So if that, you have to decide um, what fits your needs best. Next thing, I know I have multi-steps on how to choose a school. Um, the next one is to go visit them. There is nothing wrong with calling up an instructor, especially ag instructors, and say, hey, I'm interested in coming to Heartland or U of I or Western, um, Illinois Col or Central College, Joliet, you name it. Um, call them up, ask if you can come for a visit. Um, none of us are gonna turn you away. We'll probably even invite you to sit in on a class or two, maybe meet some students, maybe even take you to lunch, who knows. Um, we want to get you to know you and make sure that our campus is something that um, is going to benefit you. I'm going to speak on behalf of everyone um, that none of us are going to try to sell you on our school if our school is not the best fit for you. Uh, we want to make sure that all students, especially in agriculture, are getting exactly what they're wanting out of their education. Um, so come visit us, go visit whatever school you're interested in, and uh, see if it feels like home. And then last but not least, of course, um, think about, you know, financial aid costs, et cetera. Um, you might have a dream to go to a four-year institution, but you can't afford it quite yet. Um, sometimes that's a great area to start off at a community college. That's what I did. Um, I had a nice little tuition waiver. So when I went to Red Lake, and so it was very helpful for me to have my first two years paid for it, and then only have to worry about um, tuition and books, et cetera, for the University of Illinois. Um, for two years versus all four. So things to consider when you're talking about college and deciding which ones you wanna to go to. My favorite part about the Heartland campus. Um, campus itself is in a beautiful location. So even though we're right off of the interstate north of Bloomington Normal, um, we're kind of still on the outskirts of town. So it takes us probably five minutes to get to downtown Bloomington. Um, but on our campus, we have wind turbines, we have fields, our soybean and cornfields that are literally a five minute walk away from my classroom, maybe a little bit more. And it's really awesome because we're also just a few miles down the road from Illinois State. And so we try to partner with them and I take my students to the ISU farm since Heartland doesn't have any currently. Um, and their horticulture facility is also right down the road. And so we try to work with them as much as possible so our students can see um, not just how they can excel at Heartland, but how partnering with ISU or even transferring to ISU or other schools um, could benefit them. So that's probably about the actual campus. Um, but I would say, in general, one of the favorite things I have about Heartland is the people. As I mentioned, I started at Heartland in August, and even though we're not obviously on campus right now due to the pandemic, um, if I were to walk down any um, hallway. So people would greet me by name, and I haven't been there that long, but everybody tries to get to know their students, the faculty. Um, it's a very warm place. I'd say it's definitely kind of family feel. Um, from day one, I felt like there was always people that were out for my best interests, and I try to do that with my students as well. Um, I love stopping and talking to my students that are hanging out in the hallway and, and just asking them how their day is going, um, asking how the crops are going in, et cetera. Um, so it's just kind of nice to have that feeling of family that the Heartland has. So now that I've answered some of those questions, let me go back to talking about Heartland. Um, so currently Heartland is a transfer oriented program and we've done um, some great strides in some buildings through those classes. We can have students transfer um, an agronomy course Intro to Soil Science, Animal Science, Agriculture, Economics, and Horticulture. Um, and we're currently building out a couple more transfer classes in Ag Computers. And um, IAI just recently allowed us to create a, tran or a transfer 
Introduction to Precision Agriculture class. So all of those are coming soon too. But what's really exciting about Heartland is the transfer, the Applied Associates degree I was mentioning a few minutes ago. Um, so this summer, myself and some of our faculty are tackling, building out four different certificate programs and um, a stackable certificate Applied Associates degree. So currently, hopefully we'll launch in fall 2021 is our plan. Um, we'll have a certificate in ag business, one in agronomy, one in precision agriculture, and another in kind of an urban or sustainable food production. Um, being in Bloomington normal, we definitely have a lot of people in our community um, that are more focused on like backyard agriculture um, or organically grown as well. And so we're trying to come up with a certificate program for them to enhance their knowledge there. Um, kind of more of a farm to table feel versus corn and soybeans. Um, so students that would be a part of any of those certificates could then build those two certificates plus an ag general core classes um, and then some other general education classes and leave Heartland with a two year applied associates degree and could go directly into the workforce. So we're really excited to be building that program and um, we're excited to see you know, students come into that program and see where they end up in the future. Let's scroll over here. Looks like some more questions came in. I mentioned the Ag Club. What are some other activities or groups for students to be involved in? And there's quite a few. Um, so our PAS chapter is pretty new, so we're just now getting started in it. Um, but if you can think of any kind of um, special interest group, whether you're interested in gaming or you're interested um, in different religious groups or pride, um, Heartland has a club for just about every kind of student. If I can find it really quick, let me pop in the link to the student clubs. So this way you guys have that. Um, student life. So I'm going to put in the comments here, the, the student life um, link, and it shows pretty much everything. So I have a lot of students um, that are involved in various clubs and organizations. If you want to get involved overall, you can be a part of student go government. Um, and Heartland also has some really cool hangout spaces for students where you can kind of go blow off steam, play games in a stress lab, so a lot of our students are hanging out there for other activities. Um, Heartland also does like to put on campus-wide student events. Normally this time of the year, there's kind of a, a carnival, a festival for students to blow off steam right before um, finals, um, but of course that has been delayed. I've also been asking students to take courses at Heartland and Illinois State at University at the same time. Absolutely. Um, so I actually have quite a few students that are ISU students that are in my courses. Um, so basically a student, if they're at Illinois State already and they're thinking about taking a Heartland class, um, you do apply, but then you are just a non-degree seeking student and your classes would transfer to ISU. Um, and then quite a few of our current students then also transfer to ISU and sometimes they come back and take a class or two with us. Um, so absolutely, we do a lot of partnerships with ISU just since they're in our back door. Um, but we are happy for students to transfer other, to other universities as well. What types of scholarships are available to attend Heartland? Um, so Heartland has um, their financial aid website and there's one application that makes students eligible for about 200 plus scholarships. Um, so I can drop that link also in here for you guys. Um, I tried pulling up any of these things I thought you might want. Um, so this is a link to our paying for college site. And it would have all of those um, scholarship opportunities in there. And then Heartland, of course, ex accepts outside scholarships. And then more recently, I've been in discussions with a few different companies, local companies, and they are um, willing to sponsor students to get their two-year degree at Heartland to pay, and some of them would even pay tuition or pay books along with the tuition um, in exchange for the students to do internships and then potentially work for them full time after they graduate. Um, so since those aren't finalized, I won't talk about what specific companies um, those are. But if a student's interested, I'd be happy to talk to them about how they could potentially get 
um, two years paid for if they're just wanting an associate's degree um, then to go and work for some of these um, local companies, especially like cooperatives. Um, so another way to finance school. Yes, yes. Someone says, we've loved having the Elite Conference at Heartland the last few years, and we've loved having you guys, and we hope to continue having um, students on our campus. We're hoping to do more of that um, in the future, whether it's section or district or state events or conferences. We love having everybody out on our campus, and we're hoping to continue that. Um, we're hoping to build a new agriculture complex in the near future, and uh, I've design that space with our architects with uh, contests and meetings in mind. Heartland uh, doesn't have a ton of spaces for conferences, and so I said, hey, I, I want to be able to make our new complex um, friendly for ag activities and being able to get dirty and not worry about uh, the communications class getting mad that there's soil all over uh, the floor. Um, I'm trying to look for other questions that I had in here. Um, class sizes, I kind of already hit it. Um, when I talked about how most ag classes um, are going to be fairly small, no matter where you go. Heartland, um, if it's a lecture only class, it's capped at 30. If it's a lab class, it is capped at 20. But I'd say roughly it's usually around 15 per class. There might be a little bit more. So that's kind of our rough class sizes. Um, let's see if there's other questions that I had. Okay, my biggest piece of life advice for students. Um, I've got a few different ones, I guess, but the first one I would say um, is be open-minded. There's a time in your life where you're, you're dead set on what you think your life and career should be, and you might go down that path and learn that that's not exactly what you want. And that is perfectly fine. Um, reach out to your academic advisors, your teachers, um, mentors, and talk about what you do and don't enjoy. And they can really help steer you to, to a path that's going to be the best suited for you. Um, so always ask and don't be afraid to talk to those people. Um, your instructors, your high school teachers, um, they're all part of your network and you need to build your network. And all of those people can not only help you when it comes to where you should go to school, they can be those people that help you find your first job, um, navigate difficult situations that you might get into during your first jobs. Um, so utilize the people around you. Um, we're all happy to help. I've never met a single ag instructor that um, wasn't willing to help their students succeed. And I think um, all of us will continue to, to be that way. Um, and so I'd say those are probably my, my biggest pieces of advice is just make the effort to get to know the people around you because they are going to help you in the long run. And then just since I used to work um, more in the professional development kind of thing, I would say if you've never heard of an informational interview, I would start researching what those are. But that's going to be the best way for you guys to figure out what kind of jobs you want and maybe where you want to go to school. So. Um, hit up somebody, ask them, spend 15 minutes learning about what they do and why they enjoy it. You guys have basically been doing informational interviewing by watching these videos that the FFA Association has been putting on for you. Um, so continue to do things like that, and uh, you'll go far in, in what you guys want to do with your careers. Are there other questions or comments people have about Heartland, um, the ag program, or life in general that I can help you guys with? I don't think we have any others. Well, with that, thank you um, to the Illinois FFA Association um, and FK and everybody for inviting myself and all the other community colleges and universities to just share with you guys about our programs and um, helping you guys decide maybe where you would like to pursue um, your agriculture careers at. So thank you guys. Um, have a great day. And uh, my email and phone number is listed in this video so you guys can email or call me at any time and find out more. I'd be happy to chat with any of you or once we're back on campus, invite you to come um, take a look and sit in on some classes.
So have a great day and enjoy um, the other presenters. Bye.